Hello, this is Adam Goldberg, co-founder and chief innovation officer at Clear Sailing. Uh, recently, Forrester Research recently put out the first wave analysis of the attribution space. Um, in that, they analyzed all different vendors that they saw uh, playing the space with their rankings and their Forrester wave diagram. If you're interested in reading that, you can download a copy at clearsailing.com to read the full report. Today, though, I don't want to focus on what they wrote specifically in the report, but I do want to address one area that they pointed out in their research, and that is that there is effectively two sides of the attribution equation. There's what we call operational-based uh, attribution, and then what's called project-based attribution. And what I want to do is break apart both of those sides of the coin, and there's, of course, many ways to skin the cat on each side, but uh, kind of give me a flavor of what each one's about. So in the operational world, um, you're effectively tracking the purchase path in real time. The purchase path is the chronological sequencing of steps a consumer takes en route to conversion. So that might be a mix of different ad sources to different uh, organic or direct visits to your site with a combination of those events that leads up to a conversion is what we refer to as the purchase path. So in operational attribution, what you're doing at is you're looking at the real time data of those paths um, in a continuous fashion so that a day in, day out basis, you're making decisions about the value of your ads in terms of the bid price. Is that ad working or not? Should uh, we be buying more of that? Is the CPM or the CPA correct? So that you can make decisions day in, day out so that your marketing mix is adjusting based on the attribution models that you're applying. Now, when you're doing operational attribution, there's a couple of key pieces to make sure that you're gonna be doing it effectively. One is that it does require tech, uh, tracking technology, so there's gonna to need to be tracking code on your site, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure that that tracking is tracking all of your online media. For example, if it was only focused on your paid search, and someone used uh, a shopping engine, then an organic search, and then a paid search to close, a limited tracking solution would only identify as paid search being involved, and therefore the attribution models that it applies are erroneous to begin with. So make sure you're getting a, a technology that can track all of your online advertising for one. Secondly, if you have offline conversions, you're gonna to need to track that level. So offline conversions can mean a few things. One, if you're uh, a business to business type company, you're collecting leads, you wanna know not just that a lead was collected and break the lead up, uh, uh, across those ads or attribute that lead across a team of steps, but more importantly, did that lead convert? And if it converted for a dollar amount, and then you want to attribute that profit and revenue earned from that sale. So you're going to need uh, technology that can get to the offline conversion. Or another example would be if you're closing deals over the phone, um, you want the ability to track what was the purchase path that led to that phone call, what was sold over that phone, and then be able to attribute back that way. And the last thing with uh, operational that I encourage you to take a look at is what do you get out of the box? You want to be able to do attribution on day one. Everyone's very interested in those algorithmic models, which are very you know, sexy and can work wonders for a company that does that. But before you get to algorithmic, you're going to need to collect data. So on day one, how do we get beyond last click? and start applying some attribution, and then as we get more knowledge and data, we can look to move to something more mathematically based. Now the other side of the coin of attribution is what we call project-based attribution. Really what that's focused on is the budgeting of your marketing dollars and deciding what your marketing mix is going to be on a go-forward basis. Um, this could be offered by companies that provide technology, and services or companies that just offer service offerings. As you read the Forrester Report, you'll get a flavor for the companies that are more service oriented versus technology and a few companies like Clear Sailing are able to do both. Now what they'll basically do under project base is look at your historical advertising buy from say last quarter, look at all the conversions, run a bunch of algorithms and mathematics to figure out what really worked and what did not work and based on that last quarter along with other factors that they may be able to bring in, your seasonality, um, new competition, um, econometrics, things such as that, can then help you to make a good solid forecast for how your marketing budget should be attributed in the quarter ahead. Typically this is done on a quarterly basis or once a year. It's not something that's able to be done in real time. And then the last key point with project based, if it is a service offering, they're likely going to rely on the data that you can provide. So if you're already saying, you know, the data we have isn't very good or we're not tracking everything, then their project based assessment can only be as good as the data that goes in. 
So there are some vendors that are able to do both of these. If you'd like to read more, um, again, you can do so by reading the Forrester Report, which you can download at clearsailing.com. That report will also help you decide what type of attribution management vendor is going to be best for you. Thank you. I'm Adam Goldberg, co-founder and chief innovation officer at Clear Sailing.